mean, that was probably the, one of the most surprising things about having a Jinto. But one of the surprising qualities about him is how he tries to protect the house. That was one of the things that surprised me the most about Jindos is how protective they really are. I'm Joshua, and I'm in the United States Army. And today we have a special guest with us, Poo, our Jindo mix we adopted from South Korea. The story of how Poo and I first met is kind of an interesting one. My wife's family has a Jindo, and I know just how loyal and protective they really are. Being in the United States Army, I usually go to training about five to six months out of the year. See, this was a big concern for me because I'm worried about my wife being back home alone. One day, while scrolling on Instagram, we came across an adoption organization. We showed interest in adopting the Jindo, and we found Poo. But one of the surprising qualities about him is how he tries to protect the house every day. Who is normally a very calm dog. He doesn't bark very much and he doesn't make much trouble. But he is also very protective of the house. That was one of the things that surprised me the most about Jindos is how protective they really are. When he hears a noise outside, he immediately starts barking to alert us if someone's there. He then comes to us and reports to us like, hey, I heard something. We need to look at it and see what it is. I mean, that was probably the, one of the most surprising things about having a Jindo. They're very loyal and they're very protective of their house. Like, a good example now is how <laughs> Pooh was here and now he ran to the door because he heard a noise. Like, that's just who he is. He protects the house all day long. That's what he feels like he has to do. That's what he feels like his job is. So we talked a little bit about how loyal Jindos are, and that is true, but typically they're loyal to one person. Right, so when I come home after after work, I try to hug my wife or kiss my wife. Pooh nope. always tries to get in the middle of us and cut us off because he doesn't want anybody touching his mom. And I understand. Another surprising quality about Jindos is how smart they are. They are really, really smart dogs. Good job, good job. Where is it? You can teach them almost anything and they'll learn it pretty quickly too. So another surprising quality about Jindos is how clean they are. I've had a couple of dogs throughout my life and I have to say that Jindos are the cleanest by far. A good example for how clean Jindos are, they always use the restroom away from the things that they care about. They never use the restroom in the house and they always do it in one area. And 
물론 강아지다 보니까 말은 못하지만 저희가 눈빛으로는 얘기를 주고 받거든요 예를 들어서 제가 뭐 일을 하고 있을 때 갑자기 옆에 와서 뭔가 얘기를 하는 것 같아요 그래서 그 눈빛을 보고 코를 따라가 보면 뭐 밖에 나가고 싶다거나 아니면 같이 놀고 싶다거나 이런 식으로 말 대신에 눈빛으로 소통을 하고 있습니다 그래서 저희는 소통하는 부분에 진돗개의 큰 매력이라고 생각을 하고 있어요 So this past Christmas my entire family came to visit us One of the things they said about Boo is just like how loyal he is to j a e and how he's not concerned with anyone else and wants to play with anyone else His main goal I think in life is just to protect j a e That's really it. I know it's kind of funny to say, but it's true. He has no interest in other things but Jay. And that's fine, because that's the reason why we got Pooh, was to protect Jay e while I was gone, in a way, and just to make her feel safe. So, I think he enjoys what he does. Pooh is... 저희 아들이라고 생각을 해요 지금까지 뭐 저희가 슬플 때나 행복할 때나 푸가 항상 옆에 같이 있어 줬거든요 그래서 앞으로도 본인 가족으로서 많은 것도 돌아다녀야 되고 그리고 새로운 경험 많이 해야 할 텐데 그 모든 것을 푸랑 같이 평생 함께 하고 싶어요 So the things that I want to do in the future with Poo is to take him for long walks give him a lot of treats be a part of his life and just make him as happy as possible Pooh has actually seen a lot of the world. He's, he's traveled a lot and he's seen a lot of things. So I just want to keep doing that for him. And I want to, want to give him the ability to see more of the world. 오늘 저희가 저희 진돗개 푸에 대해서 얘기했는데요. 재밌으셨다면 구독 좋아요 눌러주세요. 안녕.